All right, it will be time to check out the dormant realm. Now, I will not fly the Macarial into that because I personally don't know what to expect. I've heard that it's pretty difficult, but I guess we will find that out very soon. Okay, let's click on the icon. So we have four new missions, Tidal Lock, Before the Abyss, Law of the Deep, and in Prisoned in silence. Now, these two are not available at the moment. Not quite sure when they will be released, so uh, I will play the first two. We'll start with the tidal lock and then I will go with the second one. Now, we have a lot of difficulties here. And I really do not want to find out what's on the on the last difficulty. And you have a special fleet for this that you have to to make for this specific game mode, which is really nice. Now I think I will start with the first difficulty. I think that's the difficulty that you have to go through first before you unlock the other ones and there is also this environmental effect that will have effects on your ship or perhaps it will have a effect on the sleepers okay let me quickly swap ships and let's go to the tidal lock I will try this with the Apocalypse Striker and we will have one Guardian and a couple more ships. Now the first difficulty should not be that difficult, but again we will see what will happen. Everyone is ready. Now if you lose your ship Undocking. inside of this game mode, then your ship is lost. And well, first impression, the map is looking pretty good. I have I've see I see that they added the fog effect to the game, which is really nice. Now approach and activate the control tower. Okay, so that's the that's the objective. I think we have five towers. Here you can take a look at the new effects that have been added to the game. Honestly, it looks really nice. It is a very pretty game. Although, not really sure why we are inside of a asteroid. If you take a look at the surrounding area, you will notice that we are inside of a asteroid or something like that, not really sure. The new UI is also really nice. I personally like how it looks. Okay, there are the sleepers. So that means it will be time to shoot them down. Okay, this time... This time they are actual sleepers. I use dual Nosferatus, one web and one scrambler. Which should be enough, I believe. And by the looks of it, they are quite tanky, they have a lot of armor. It is to be expected from sleepers. They have a lot of armor, but they don't have any shield. Okay, that's one down. I think what we have to do here is activate all the control towers one by one. Now, the objective says to activate three of them, but we have five in the mission so I suspect that we get to choose which ones we activate 
which might be a good thing or might be a bad thing, I don't know. We will find that out, I guess. Not really sure if we have a time limit on this. This is not a Nihilus Dead Space site, so it will not collapse, I believe. And it's also not a wormhole, so it will not collapse as well. But who knows, maybe there is a limit that I am unaware of. Okay, well, that's the last sleeper. Now, if you have to exit, I think you can exit through that gate, even from 40 plus kilometers. That's basically what I've heard, although so far I don't have a problem with the tank. Now, they use neutralizers, they use Nosferatus, tracking disruptors and guidance disruptors. The sleepers can also use webs, points and scramblers. Basically, all possible electronic warfare modules which can be a problem if you decide to run the higher tier anomalies which makes me believe that drone boats with very long range could do this very well because drones will not be affected by the electronic warfare modules from the ships and the sleeper models are also looking pretty good a very very unique looking ship very interesting ship as well they have several classes from frigates to battleships I have to admit the the new effects are looking really nice This map looks very pretty. My shield is around 40%, I would say. My apologies, 20 to 30%. It is always nice to have a guardian. Now I believe that the best ship combination would be to use the Nightmare and couple Serpentis and Blood Raider ships because of the webs and Nosferatus that they have a bonus on the Vindicator for the webs, while the Balgorn for the long range webs and for the for the capacitor. Although there is still a lot of a lot of other options to look into. We primarily do PvP, so we are just testing out how the new dormant sites work and I've heard that we will get some new missions tomorrow not really sure what that was all about but I think some new missions are coming in as well should be really interesting 
Okay, this is the second tower. And the next uh, sleeper wave has spawned in. Now you have to be careful at uh, which tower you go. Because I think every tower has different spawn mechanics. I basically picked the towers with the lowest number of sleepers. Which should technically mean that if you go and do them in this way, you should clear it a little bit faster. Because if you pick the tower with a larger spawn, then it might take a little bit more time to clear the site. That's just my speculation. This is pra practically the first time that I'm clearing the site, so I might get some information wrong. Now, they will orbit your ship at around 5 kilometers, which means that if you use a battleship with pulse lasers or any other close range weapon, then you might have some problems at hitting the target. And this is where the Serpentis webs will come into play. And of course the Balgorn in in that aspect can help, but the Vindicator webs are definitely a lot more powerful. After all, that ship has a bonus on web strength. Which makes me wonder if you can actually do this with sniper battleships. I think it's it's actually risky to to use snipers because you're practically forced to to go at close range. Maybe maybe snipers are a valid option with the with the other sites with the other two missions. We are going to activate the second beacon. Basically, you have to shoot down the sleepers that are within the range of the beacon in order in order to make the beacon activate itself you may see the yellow circle around the ship that's basically the area that you have to clear now this is the second one that we are going to activate the third one will be next. Now you'll have to go one by one. I think you can actually skip, but but I don't want to to risk that. Maybe the mission collapses and all of our ships get destroyed or something like that. I don't know. Still not really sure how this works, but so far. We are following the objective and I think we are doing good. Some of the sleepers will be long range, like that one. So I will have to approach and go with an optimal range, which means I will leave the nightmare bubble. I would personally recommend that you tank your ships if you plan to to run the mission and always focus on the ships with webs, points and scramblers because those ships will prevent you from actually leaving the doorman site. You can leave anytime but if you are pointed and scrambled, then you can't leave until the ship that holds you is destroyed. Okay, let me return to the nightmare. That was the last sleeper of this wave. 
And I believe we have one more beacon to activate. And I think I will go with the third one because the the text, the mission text said that the third one will not have a lot of reinforcements. You can check that by scrolling in the chat over here. So the third one will be the next one and hopefully that will end the mission. But who knows, maybe maybe this is a bad idea. We will find out. Or perhaps as the difficulties go up, maybe you have to activate more of the of the towers. Now this reminds me on one of the games that I used to play a long time ago called Star Conflict. We had a game mode called Beacon Hunt where you would actually go and capture different beacons. It was really fun. Uh, that, that game mode was really fun if you were flying a fighter or interceptor. This kind of reminds me of that wakes up some nostalgic feeling that I have towards that game. I haven't played that game in in four years, I think. Three or four years. It was a really good game. Unfortunately, it did not go towards the direction that it should have went, and yeah. That's how that ended for me. But it's still a pretty fun game. I actually plan to play it again. Just because I haven't been playing that game in four years. I think a lot of thi a lot of things have changed in that game. Now in our case we have one vigilant with a lot of webs and that seems to be working really well. So far. Two more sleepers remain. I think with every tower you have around two waves. Now the first difficulty is definitely not that difficult, although although they did some pretty good damage on my shield. So I'm a little bit worried about the uh, higher difficulties. Someone asked me if I would go and farm or grind for the implants. I will most likely just buy them from the market. I am really not a PvE player, obviously. I'm obviously not a PvE player, I mostly do Pv PvP in this game. So, I will buy the, the implants on the market. You can buy the implants on the market, by the way. You don't, you don't have to do the missions if you don't like them. Or if, you know, they're too difficult. So, it's always nice to have a lot of options. Now, I just looked at the market in the background looking at the capacitor control circuits they have skyrocketed in the in the in the price what happened 249 million what that's the tier 3 rig by the way and the semiconductor memory cell also skyrocketed what the hell happened it tripled in price that's interesting Literally five hours ago it was 15 million, now it's 290 million. Wow. Well, that escalated quickly. We are slowly finishing up with this tower and hopefully the dormant site should be completed. I think the dormant sites did 
did affect the market quite a bit because of the different electronic warfare modules that are being used by the by the sleepers. Interesting. Honestly, did not see that one coming, but it happened. Now this ship has a very nice looking hull design. There is something about these ships that's very unique. Just look at this model, it, it really looks very nice. Now I really hope that the new missions that should come later make the sleepers spawn in normal space. Should be interesting. I will probably ask around to, Docking request to see accepted. what to expect. Challenge successful. All right, that was no, that wasn't that bad actually. It was very smooth. Nineteen minutes and fourteen seconds. Nice. Well then, uh, that was the first dormant realm site, the first difficulty, and honestly, I kind of like them. There is still definitely a lot of room for improvement. And well, with that being said, next time I will run the second realm called Before the Abyss. So, uh, with that being said, hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.